Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza 6 for another silly car build. My vehicle today is the Willys Jeep. Yes, we're going to be maxing this thing out. See if he can beat a uh, Lancia race car. I'm not so sure. I don't know how quick this thing is going to go. To be honest, we have seen one very, very fast one, Race to Versus the Community, not so long ago. So these can be quite quick. Whether it will be quick enough, though, to uh, <laughs> to challenge the top of this table, who knows? But, uh, yeah, it should, be, it should be an experience, certainly, going <laughs> racing with a maxed out one of these. Now, as far as engines go there are two options for this one the 5.7 liter v8 or the 3.7 liter v6 i was actually hoping for a couple more crazy ones i was, I was kind of hoping for the nascar engine maybe even try and get the v12 i thought the v12 would be great fun to put it in here but uh, <laughs> nope we've only got these two engines to uh, choose from for this time i'm going to go with the, the v6 i feel like this goes in absolutely everything so let's have a go with the uh, nissan 370z engine sure we shall put that in our jeep and we shall of course put on some twin turbo charge it's fantastic right to the aero parts this yep it's i <laughs> i remember these we get the uh, that's um that's apparently good for downforce there you go that's that's what you should put on the front of all of your cars if you want front uh, front aero parts okay we should have these metal bars uh, <laughs> sure and the rear wing is it yes it is as silly as i remember it we can have a tabletop for a rear spoiler excellent this is already going amazingly to plan it is going to be such a silly racing vehicle uh, this one race tires of course we are going to be wanting they're actually surprised how quickly this has gone up in po we're already halfway through a class almost that's pretty good going for uh, for this uh we will get not very large tires on the front 215s on the front and 215s on the rear as well i would assume normally with four-wheel drive cars they have the same tire widths all the way around which is the same case with this one now i'm going to keep this jeep as four-wheel drive now the four-wheel drive will be good for traction certainly but uh just seeing those tires we're not really going to have a huge amount of grip uh so yeah it's, it's going to be an interesting one to uh, to drive this the four-wheel drive may give it a slight chance whether it's going to be enough though i i doubt it but uh, you never know maybe this could be our first big surprise i kind i kind of hope that uh, this can beat some of the uh, far more suitable vehicles that have gone around here I, I do really quite hope that it can bloody hell those brakes are stupid like <laughs> that's just like 130 pounds of weight it's saved with the brakes that's impressive i think that may be one of the the lightest like the, the biggest change of weights i've seen on uh, on the brakes for any vehicle we we'll get some race suspension get some anti roll just seeing that the weight we may even get this under 2000 pounds that'd be quite impressive going for uh, for a willy's jeep if only i'd realized this could get under two uh, <laughs> we've got the fantastic roll gauge i'd forgotten about this that's uh, <laughs> yes i definitely want that i got distracted um yeah, this being under £2,000, I should have thought about building one of these for the um, uh, recent Versus community. Ah, oh, the fun I could have had, although the Mercedes is really rather good. Um, but yeah, you can you can get this to under £2,000, which is quite, quite impressive. And then to the engine parts. Not sure how much power you get from the uh, the V6. I know it's a fairly a fairly hefty amount from this engine. Uh, PI is actually also shooting up quite quickly. I was not expecting to get this. I mean, was it? the Volvo top was about 750-ish. Most of the cars have been uh, most of the cars have been into R class, but most of them have been quite sens or sensible-ish anyway. Uh, so I wasn't quite expecting this to uh, to gain PI as quickly. 635 horsepower now uh we're up into our class now so we're now about the same pi as the lancy was that went around the other uh, track i'm hoping the turbos are going to give us a nice little power boost 600 uh, 692 horsepower isn't that bad 828 there we go <laughs> in a willy's jeep 128 horsepower and the intercooler is going to add another 37 onto it oh we are just going to go over 2000 pounds i suspect when we stick on the oil and cooling as well yeah there's a little bit little bit more in the weight department 875 horsepower though in a 2000 pound jeep 600 foot pounds of torque Oh, this thing should be an interesting... As I said at the start, this should be an interesting experience. Um, yeah, okay then. Well, that is the Jeep ready to go. Can it embarrass any of the current vehicles? Could it embarrass the Lancia race car? I'm not sure about that one. But there is, of course, only one way to uh, find out.
And that is, of course, to head to the Brands Hatch Indie Circuit in the pouring rain for our six laps. The current target time is 49.8. Can the Jeep get anywhere near that? I have absolutely no idea. Well, from first person view, the visibility is pretty awful. Maybe the windscreen wipers are better than the Alfa Romeo uh, TZ2s, but only slightly. Uh, we also got a bar right across most of the screen. It's not really the ideal visibility thing. About, I forgot about the curbs. Curbs, we might roll this. Of all the vehicles that we've driven, this one here is perhaps uh, the most likely to have uh, have a rolling issues, and we're in a tyre bundle already. A little bit unfortunate, I bounced across the curbs and then got a wheel on the grass, and the wheel on the grass, you are... You are not going to stop, basically. Once you've uh, <laughs> once you've got it out there, you're never you're never going to uh, slow it down in time. Because this thing will pick up some serious... Look at it go! <laughs> <laughs> it's 120 miles an hour down this back straight, and because it's four-wheel drive, it can go flat out very, very easily. The problem I am having is it doesn't actually turn in to a quarter. It just doesn't. <laughs> it's still turning. Some point, we might actually make it around this uh, this corner. Right, then if we go flat out down here, oh, we've got a little bit of understeer, and then a little bit of oversteer, and then an awful, awful, awful lot of speed, and 150 miles an hour, and then we jump on the brakes because I'm panicking and don't actually know how well this thing gets stopped. It gets stopped pretty well. Actually, I will give it credit there. It does get stopped relatively, relatively well. And then we're getting that's still another 120 miles an hour before j <laughs> jumping on the brakes. This is seriously fast accelerating uh, around here. It's also got very, very long gears. Now that can be quite a useful thing in in this kind of in this kind of build, in this kind of challenge, if you like. Having those long gears just prevents a little bit more, a little bit more wheel spin, so we don't have as don't have as many problems. Uh, we're going. Well, we might actually be on for a half decent lap time with uh, with this vehicle. The understeer kills it though. It's just waiting, waiting, waiting to get on the power. Oh, then we get a little bit of a twitch as we try to get onto the power. Still understeer. Dear God, that understeer is incredible. And across the line, fifty-two <laughs> six. That's um, yeah, that's pretty damn respectable from the uh, from the Jeep, even with its absolute mile of understeer. That is that is a pretty respectable type. Come on, get it around the corner. There we go. I was kind of ooh, expecting a little bit more kind of four wheel drive sliding uh, through the corners. It, we just don't. We have so much understeer. Sorry, we have so much understeer. We, we don't have. Whoa. Uh oh, wheel on the grass, wheel on the grass is bad! We were a tenth of a second up while we were going through the checkpoint backwards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was kind of expecting a bit more of the four-wheel drifting going on from this uh, from this vehicle because of the tiny tyres, but there is so little in the way of turning that the, um, yeah, we don't have the back end ever wanting to, uh, to come around, really. Little bit down here, but on the most part, no, not really. It's just constant, constant understeer. Uh, 100 again. We're past 150 miles an hour as we're jumping on the brakes towards this uh, towards this first quarter. I mean that is as quick as that's as quick as the Lancia. I think it's as quick as the Hellcat. No wait, the Lancia do 140 and the Hellcat do 150. I've forgotten uh, by now. But that is you know that is, that is decent. That is respectable speed. I think a couple of cars have got upwards of 160. But um, that's that's impressive from the uh, from the Jeep considering what it's what it you know what it's going up against uh, around here. It's just, understeer is really killing the vehicle uh, around here. We're half a second up on our lap, but I'm not getting it stopped. Come on, please turn. <laughs> please turn. If this thing had some lovely large tyres on it, or, uh, or just some, some more grip from somewhere, it would be amazing. As it is, we've just got... <laughs> we have the traction, but so, so much understeer. No, 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 no. We're going to go for another spin, are we? Uh... I'm trying to do little movements so I don't overcorrect and spin it around in a circle. Okay, we're going to get one more lap with this vehicle. Our last lap is going to be, hopefully, the quick one. This one is kind of ruined since I was going across the line on the grass and sideways, so I had no momentum going through turn one. I am very, very impressed with this vehicle, actually. I, I thought it was going to be a bit more ridiculous to drive than this. It's actually going pretty damn quickly, but the understeer does slightly uh, slightly kill any lap time really from it. I don't know how on earth I'm going quicker on this lap considering I was all, <laughs> I was on the grass and sideways across the uh, the start line but uh, 
Well, that does give me some confidence that come this uh, final lap, we can hopefully find some time and uh, put some other cars to a uh, to shame, quite possibly. All right, there we go. Deal with the understeer coming onto the straight. Make the most of the straight line speed across the line. All right, this is the one. This is the lap we have got to uh, to make count for the Jeep. I am just sticking up into a uh, short shifting up into third down there, just to try and stop a little bit of wheel spin that I was starting to. Uh, to get, I'm not sure if massively necessary. Being, you know, being four-wheel drive, the traction has been, on the most part, pretty damn good. But uh, we don't want any wheel spin. If we can help it here and then fight the understeer, now we can go for it again with the uh, with the power. Again, jumping on that brakes nice and early for this corner here. We're almost a second up on the on the split time. This, if we can finish this lap off neatly, this is going to be a mega quick lap from a very, very stupid vehicle. There is so much understeer as we round this final corner, trying to get on the throttle. There we go. <laughs> That's some of the sort of four-wheel drifting that I was expecting. It's across the line. It's a 51.6. <laughs> That is mega fast from the uh, the Willys Jeep. A 51.6 in this, the most understeery vehicle I think I might have ever driven. <laughs> but that traction, that traction and the absurd acceleration is uh, is enough to get it around. That's really very, very quick uh, around here. I thought this was going to be a, a little bit more ridiculous to drive, and then we can go and do... Well, I guess we can do donuts on the spot, but when it's going downhill as it is at that point, it's uh, not quite going to work. Yeah, the the 51.6 will put this car into third. It goes quicker than the Mercedes C63, quicker than the Maserati Birdcage, the Challenger Hellcat. It's only a second off the Ferrari 250 LM. That's some some serious speed from the Willys Jeep. It is a shame about the mile of understeer because yeah, it, it really it <laughs> really does not get turned through any of these corners. But uh, yeah, that is a, a really rather impressive lap time. Now it is time though to see how quickly this thing will go in a straight line. That of course means taking it to Le Mans. Now, this is not exactly the greatest of um, of shapes for cutting through the air cleanly when it comes to speed running, is it? So while we do have decent power, I'm not expecting much above 200 miles an hour from this. I'm pretty sure I got one to around 200-ish on Horizon 2, but I can't remember. I know I did build one of these up, but uh, yeah, I can't quite remember the, the speed the thing got to. We will remove, we'll dump as much air off as we can, yeah, 201, that sounds about fair, although admittedly the gear ratios are stupid long, let's see if we can bring this back a bit, does that, yeah, it's going to be about the 200 mile an hour mark, I think, that that's the, that seems about the point at which it just can't cut through the air anymore, so yeah, we will, uh, oh, well, I'll just have a little, a little, a little fiddle with these gears, see if we can get any, any more, still, I mean, 200 miles an hour, 201.8, that's pretty... That'd be pretty impressive if we can if we can manage to uh, get it up to that speed. This is the longest straight I have, but uh, we have been seeing a few cars uh, falling a couple of miles an hour short of their benchmark, just simply running out of road. My bigger fear for this, though, is how it's going to react with the uh, with the bump at the end of the straight. Now we've been having a lot more problems with vehicles there on Forza Six than I ever did on Forza Five. Now I fear that uh, this may have a big accident. Uh, around there, I <laughs> will be honest. I, I yeah, slightly concerned. Com combining the understeer with the bump launching cars up into the air, uh, we may have we may have some troubles. But uh, yeah, let's hope we can get up to that 200 miles an hour before getting to the uh, to the corner. There are some nasty bumps as well down here. These haven't been as bad on uh, on Forza 6, but they can still catch you out if you're not a little bit a little bit careful. <laughs> acceleration in this thing is incredible. We're up to 170 miles an hour already. 180, I've already just got onto the straight. 190 and then we start struggling a little bit down here. Oh, we're up to, we've actually done a pretty good job of getting up to 200 miles. Hold on. Okay, right, we need to tinker with these gears ever so slightly. We need to make the, uh, right, we, we're doing this here, we'll do this all on the fly. We need to make these a lot shorter, so sixth gear is actually usable. That should work. Um, so that we can, yeah, actually make the make the most of the uh, the gearing. Right, there we go, now we're into sixth gear. 
Now we can hopefully go and crack the 200 mile an hour mark before we get to the end of the straight. 198, 190, oh, it's bumping. This is a problem. We're bumping 190. We're not spinning the wheels. It's just 200. I saw it. We hit 200. 200 miles an hour. 201. It did flick to 201 through there. We are struggling with the bumps. Holy crap. That was a big amount of air time. That was a really big amount of air time. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how high that flew. That's it. <laughs> we got it. I'm, I also have no idea how the bloody hell I got that under control again. Uh, frantic panicking and it worked. We got the Jeep under control after flying it at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, I love this car. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the understeer is amazing. The speed, the acceleration is phenomenal. The top speed, well, it's still got past 200 miles an hour, which is certainly rather, rather impressive for a Willys Jeep. And somehow I actually managed to control it after getting what felt like a huge amount of airtime. I'll probably look back at a replay or something and it won't be quite as impressive as it felt. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, this is a crazy, crazy vehicle. Only managing 200 miles an hour will put it at the bottom of our speed run table, but let's face it, we weren't expecting this thing to be uh, stupidly fast. In, well, I, I say stupidly fast. Stupidly fast when you're comparing it to the kind of vehicles that have that have gone in this series. We're never expecting this to go up to, to the, you know, the 240 mile an hour mark, but still doing 200 miles an hour in a Willys Jeep is uh, quite impressive, and yeah, then we might have had a, a small space program going on. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.